six months after breaking off her affair with Harry Styles, Olivia Wilde shows her tummy in a bra top and reveals that she now has a six-pack. Olivia Wilde has spent the entire year working out hard at her preferred gym in Studio City, California. The Hollywood starlet also received a six-pack as compensation. Don't worry Anthem the adorable filmmaker and star, who was spotted over the weekend with her baby, flaunted her tone midriff while modeling a little black sports bra outside the gym on Monday. She sported an open puffy off-white jacket to show off her toned stomach. In addition, the 39-year-old New Yorker wore skin-tight leggings and sneakers in black and white. The celebrity was spotted after a workout, pulling her hair up and sweaty after her efforts. She also had a one-gallon TOBA water bottle with a pink beverage inside, as well as a canvas book bag. Olivia Jane Cockburn, better known as the house actress, has been going to the gym every day since she and singer Harry Styles called it quits in November. The concept of the beauty working off her anger over the lost romance at the gym has worked out quite well. Olivia has always been slim, but she is now exceptionally toned, with powerful legs and sculpted arms in addition to a flat stomach. However, Wilda doesn't appear to have moved on romantically as she has yet to romance a new man. Style has also been seeing Emily Radichkowski, who is a friend of Olivia's. The two were recently photographed kissing in Japan. Olivia, though, is currently concentrating on other things. With her estranged husband Jason Sudeikis, she has been working to mend their marriage. They were pictured holding hands at their son Otis soccer game in Los Angeles last week. The celebrity dressed more casually for the game and joined the 47-year-old actor from Ted Lasso on the sidelines. The former couple, who had already divorced in November 2020, had been fighting over who would get custody of their two kids, Otis, age 9, and Daisy, age 6. The wrongful termination case filed by their former nanny has also brought Hollywood's Alisters back into the limelight. But despite their problems, Wilda and Sudeikis chose to attend their oldest child's soccer game this past weekend. Jason wore a pair of dark navy trousers and a bright blue hooded sweatshirt with a Nike emblem on the upper right side to keep his outfit simple. The once engaged couple smiled as they made their way to the soccer game on Saturday. A light-hearted chat was being had by the stars as they proudly supported their kid Otis while standing side by side. The disclosure occurs just after Jason and Olivia alleged in fresh court papers, according to TMZ, that their former nanny, Erica Gernero, did not properly file her wrongful termination complaint in California as a civil action. They further assert that a private arbitration should have been launched in the state of New York instead of a lawsuit. In a statement released on Thursday, the ex-couple told TMZ, It is unfortunate that this private matter continues to play out in the press. Our priority has been and will remain unwavering protection of our family against harassment of any kind. We are certain that the presented evidence will support our cause for conclusively dismissing this matter, bringing our family peace. Erica, who worked for Hollywood celebrities from 2018 to 2021, said in February that she was let go after requesting a three-day medical vacation due to the strain of her job. However, according to both Jason and Olivia, she actually resigned rather than being fired. The ex-couple claims that Gennaro's pay was increased in 2020 and that she was cared for by the family. They claim to have paid for her and her dog to stay in London's Rosewood Hotel when she quit her job in one instance. The ultimate tab, which included food and beverage room service, totaled more than $22,000. They also assert that Erica's moving costs from London to the United States, which came to almost $17,000, were covered. They claim that Gennaro violated her employment contract by speaking to the media about her and her partner's marital issues and by lying about her criminal history. They claim that Gennaro has referred to herself as ruthless, according to their report.